and you not only did not go to Harvard Law School, you haven't even gone to any law school. What if I told you that I consume knowledge like no one you've ever met and I've actually passed the bar? Wait a minute, it's all coming back. I've seen this on TikTok, this specific scene. Oh, wow, he said, what if I, I consume not? And then he started reading things from books, right? And then dude was just, he was just saying it word for word. I'm like, oh, 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 oh this dude is impressive. I wanna watch. I always told myself I would watch that show, whatever it is. Oh my, oh my God, oh my gosh. Oh wow, this is huge, this is huge, bro. For those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. For those of you that aren't new though, welcome back. Today we got Suits. Season one, episode one. I don't normally talk like this. I normally talk like this. You know, calm, collected. You know, this is how I'm gonna react. And then I'm just gonna be like, huh. I figured that would happen. It's all going according to plan. However, this is a new series on the channel. So if you are new here and you wanna see more Suits, drop a like. Drop a like. I'm just gonna say that at the beginning in case a lot of people click off somewhere in the middle or maybe in the beginning or maybe at the end, you know? But if you just wanna see more Suits reaction, drop a like, it'll go a long way in supporting the channel. And it'll let me know that you guys want to see more of these Suits reactions. So without further ado, I mean, this is blind. Like I've, I've never heard about this show. I've never spoken about this show with anyone ever in my life. I don't know what it's about. The only thing I know that it's about for sure, based off the description of the show, is lawyers, right? That's all I know. So if you wanna get caught up on Patreon, over there we are, hopefully by the time you guys see this on YouTube, we'll be like a week ahead and as time goes on, we'll be more and more ahead. So if you guys wanna watch along over there, feel free to subscribe to the Patreon. If not, let us... Wait, oh, wait, okay. Let's begin now. MW Guitar Riff. They, they really got paid to do this scene, man. Like imagine just fake arguing for the camera. I mean, YouTubers do that all the time. <laughs> Yo, man, that's crazy. And then after that, why don't you formally ask Santa Claus to bring you a pony? Because I'm not leaving Jessica. I check. Ah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know. I I just said I wasn't gonna pause. And now, I just wanna I just wanna point this out. It's it's very funny that they're playing poker, right? Uh, in the first episode of the show, and I'm just guessing. It's it's paying homage to what they're going to be doing throughout the show. It's going to be I'm I'm assuming right. I don't know. I've never seen the show. I'm just assuming it's going to be a lot of bluffing, right? I mean, if you're, if you're a lawyer, if you're a lawyer, like whether you're working for criminals or heroes, you know, you got to do a lot of bluffing. So I I just I I find that really fun that they incorporated poker into the first. <laughs> first two minutes of the show of the of the series because that must mean it's gonna be a whole lot of bluffing bro you let him talk to me like this harvey speaks for the firm mm, yeah he honestly speaks for the audience too brother he speaks for the world let's be honest all right <laughs> come on we got paid before gerald signed the deal this is a memo about some fire drill on tuesday this dude was i don't i don't i didn't didn't i didn't i didn't didn't i say I'm stuttering too much. Didn't I say that was gonna happen? Bro, do I already know how this show's gonna play out? Let me let me try to predict. No, no, let me not try. Should I? Mm. <laughs> no, no, I'm just gonna watch and enjoy. You're never gonna find it. Yeah, good luck. Hey, you and the cat. <laughs> Bro, this suit, this I don't even know what they threw that in there for, man. That was just so impressive. Honestly, this is my favorite show of all time. We're six minutes. In. We're six minutes in. I don't know what his purpose was there in that scene. Like, obviously, to bamboozle the teacher. But why though, right? Why? Why go to law school to take an exam? You know what I'm saying? Are you just trying to help someone out? You put someone else's name on. Are you taking the exam for someone else? What's going on? I don't, let's, let's find out, right? You, you guys know what's going on, so let's find out. Is this the same dude? It's serious. Meghan Markle? Meghan Markle's in this? Okay, we're here, I guess. 
I, di I didn't know that she was in like this show. I knew she was an actor, but I. That's crazy. Okay, so what do you need me for? Can't You're gonna be the fall guy, bro. And I need someone I can trust to make yep, the drop. Yep, the fall guy. Imagine if he's actually the fall guy. Nah. So you only care about money. Truth is, I do it for the children. I'm Lisa. Did that line work on you? What? What are you? Damn. What are we doing? <laughs> no, bro. I do it for the children. All right. Honestly, if I was that waitress, I'd be like, all right, man. I, all right. <laughs> you know, like, could have used some work there. Well, I'm not, I'm not just folding, like. I get off at 10 past. I'm never going out with you. Oh, oh, I was wrong. I was mistaken. Wow, I thought the lawyers were the only people that bluffed. Oh, my God. She's, she's cold-blooded. Oh, she's the best character in the show. I should have kept watching. Oh, my God. Oh, that's crazy. Wow, she threw me for a loop. Oh, wow. Who, who is she? MVP, that's all I know. We need people who think on their feet, not another clone with a rod up his ass. Harvey, the fact that we only hire from Harvard gives us a cachet that's a little more valuable than hiring a kid from Rutgers. Are they going to hire that guy? Oh, my gosh. They're going to hire him, right? That's his purpose. Because I was wondering, like, what are they showing this dude for? I won't put her in a state facility. Then I'm afraid you'll have to come up with 25,000. 25,000? Oh, he's gonna have to, oh, he's gonna have to do that thing for his friend. Why are they smiling? Because if these guys are cops, whoever's holding that weed is going to jail for a long time. I don't know how he's gonna get out of this. Like, I'm, I'm actually upset right now because I thought he was just gonna have a little happy ending, get the money, you know? And then he was gonna get recruited somehow, some way, but Ah, uh, they have to throw that that curveball in there, man. Like, what for? I, I don't I don't play baseball, man. Come on, I'm a hooper. I, stop it. You want to look perfect on your first day. Yeah. I can't figure out their relation. That feels kind of intimate. Is there more there? If the leader of a firm doesn't care about the people who work for him, what would you do about it? He's missing compassion. Hmm. Let's shove it down his throat. Smoke salmon. Yes, actually. I need to buy some salmon. I was making I was making salmon like like six, seven months ago. So good. Gotta gotta start getting back into that, man. What is wrong with you? You look like you're eleven years old. I was late to puberty. He said that with so much conviction. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Bro was proud of that. Do you have the time? Oh uh, it's ten o'clock. Bro, this this dude is Batman! He's Bruce Wayne. I saw your gun. Oh, you think that's him? Go after him. Stay on the radio. This is crazy how this is playing out. He's literally running towards safety, but not safety. He's gonna... Bro's gonna get a job by escaping the cop. Oh, I, no. Uh, Rick Sorkin. I respect her, man. Shouts out to Rick Sorkin, man. I have some information that I think will lead you to the conclusion that you're better served than Pearson with me as your lead counsel. I told, I told you. I told you. I knew he was gonna do this, man. A disgruntled employee. Well, not if you can find actions to cover up the violation as established in the Sixth Circuit, May 2008. It's impressive, but you're sitting at a computer playing hearts. Doug, he's better. He's better than you. Trevor convinced me to memorize this math. Sold it to the dean's daughter. I mess with that origin story. Listen, if it were me, you got a job, bro. What if I decide to go another way? Sometimes I like to hang out with people who aren't that bright. You know, just to see how the other half lives. <laughs> you talking my language. <laughs> Yo, he's him, bro. <laughs> if you imagine the person that watches this and thinks, you know, this guy kind of sucks. How do you think that? <laughs> oh, bro, not me getting disrespected by my own thoughts. Like what? <laughs> here to invite you to a small cocktail hour for some of our uh, more realistic candidates. Currently, we are six of nine. She just handed him that. She literally saw what just happened. What are we? <laughs> Okay, it's like he can't escape this, you know? Like, no, there's no way she didn't see this. Is that My is boss? that Megan? Hi. Wow, she looked so much younger. I'm Rachel Zane. I'll be giving you no dis no disrespect, Megan. My bad. If you're watching this, my bad. I was. Mm -hmm. I was hitting on you. Wow. I love you. <laughs> Bro was so blown out the water. The only thing he could think was, "I love you." <laughs> oh man. 
I gave you that for a reason. You haven't taken one note. It's also pretty clear that you think you're too smart to be a paralegal. Nobody likes a show off. I like a show off though. It, when I'm watching a show, I kind of like a show off like this, man. This is this is great. This guy, it, man, I would love to just be friends with him, man. You know, just just to have a friend like this guy, where he just you take him anywhere, right? And he just knows everything. Do you do one more thing that isn't straight as an arrow, and instead of covering your ass, I will put you in front of the bar myself. Know your role, soldier. I'm gonna have to let you go. You don't know your role, soldier? Nah, that's not how this episode's gonna play out. I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen this show, right? But if I had to bet my whole YouTube journey on this, that is, that is not how it's gonna play out. Right? And even if it plays out that way, I will go back in time and change it. You're going to give me back my promotion. Because if you don't, I'm going to approach every client I've ever closed and I'm going to take them with me. This dude just took a page out of his rookie's book. Mm, okay, I'll let it slide. All right, that's cool. <laughs> How can I be upset? <laughs> he's him. <laughs> what can I say? One night he says that if I sleep with him, he's going to take care of me in the firm. Can you help me? Yes, I can. Was that a lie, bro? Were you bluffing? You're a reflection <laughs> of me, and I absolutely care about me. So get your skinny tie out of my face and get to work. That's a little harsh. Really? Does he care that it was harsh? Hey, man. It's not just the kid that's getting flesh out. Why don't... Have, oh, his... His actual name's Mike. You know, I, for some reason, I thought he used a fake name when he went to that woman earlier. Okay, Mike. Mike. Have you completed the Petrenko filing? Oh, well, my brother was in over the weekend, so I didn't really get to it. Go pack up your things. Don't you ever show your face in this place again. Oh my gosh. What, why, why, why? That's so hard. You, you wanted Mike to see that? Why, why do we need to see that? You won't return my phone calls. Uh, yeah, because you set me up. You remember that? You think I knew about that? <laughs> Here we go, round 50 of what's, what's tough is that he found out and was definitely about to leave, but for some stupid reason, he didn't. As soon as he heard that, cause didn't Trevor also have a bike? As soon as he heard that, bro should have jetted off. I'm not even kidding. He should have sped off so fast. There's literally a ramp exiting the building. You could have just took the ramp with your bike. It just, you know, you, you could have left. But instead you're like, you know, let me keep listening and maybe I could get caught even because it's been a while since I've gotten caught for something. <laughs> you know, like, come on, Trev. Is she a client or is she a date? The way that dress. What, this whole thing, come on. Beautiful. Why don't we do this more often? Why does it, it just seems like, I don't know what it is about this show. It just seems like every single person is using every other person for something, but like in a bad way almost. It, it almost feels like that but not quite, you know, but it's, 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 it's getting there. I feel like, you know, and at some point, I feel like at, at, at some point, it's just going to be blatant. You didn't think I'd let you come along? No. Good instinct. I wasn't. Ever. Other side. Okay. Imagine if he left him, I'd be so upset. Other side. Driver, go. <laughs> well, what if Herman did come to you, your honor? And you betrayed his trust. You really think that a little of me, Herman? I'd like to speak to you in chambers. <laughs> He's like, yo, you got any issues you want to talk to me about, bro? <laughs> that really spawned this conversation. That's great, though. That's great, you know? At least he's one of those bosses that actually cares, you know, because you I know I know some people watching this have horrible bosses, you know, shout out the movie Horrible Bosses. But I'm sure people have horrible bosses who live who just don't care about you. They don't care that you have a life outside of work. <laughs> they don't like you. <laughs> they treat you poorly. <laughs> they talk about your family, you know, all that, you know, sh shout out to those people that have horrible bosses that go into work and still get that money, man. Oh. Oh, large? That's not how it works. Like, bro, you gotta stop just shouting out size numbers as if you're buying t-shirts, bro. You can't do that, bro. <laughs> this is not Walmart, okay, bro? <laughs> this is not Target. This is not Abercrombie. This is none of that. 
He said things aren't ever going back to the way they were. What did you do? I don't know. What is up with people manipulating people? Just tell her the truth. I, I set him up, he could have gotten prison for life. Your wife owns 10% of the company's voting shares. You've been seeing this woman and several others. Several others, bro? Se se several others is great. Oh, your life is over at that point. I mean, your life is over now. I'm not interested in getting your business. I'm interested in keeping it. He's not even on the court, yet he's beating you at your own game. Oh my God. Oh, oh. What if it was her daughter that he did this to? I cared about her. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, he's dodging. He said, whoa. <laughs> Don't shoot me with that. And then you lied to my face. So let me be clear. This isn't professional. This is personal. You made your bed. You better goddamn win. That might have hit harder than any other line in the, in the episode. You know, she was just spitting straight facts. Uh, my cousin was your year at Harvard. I asked him if he knew you. He didn't. Think you can just walk in and take it to her? Oh, Mitchell. I remember him. I just love that this guy just spits out facts at any moment. I'd been working six months when Mr. Hunt... Not gonna lie, I'm a little, a little bit nervous for this situation Harvard. because this is like the last part of the episode. And this could go horribly wrong. In 1993, then, you were not arrested for stealing a thousand dollars. Kid, Mike, you didn't get this? You didn't get this, Mike? She's looking to her lawyers now for help, but bro, like, he's, he's upset, right? Harvey's upset with Mike because how did Mike not know this information, right? If this is your client, you have to know everything. Like, you have to do your research on your client. If I was a lawyer watching this show, First off, I'd be I'd be flabbergasted that they could figure out this information so quickly. Because what the bro, this it literally happened in 24 hours. I'm not even kidding, right? It happened in 24 hours. I'm assuming things like that don't happen as quickly in real life, right? But just as a casual watcher who is not a lawyer. Even I know you gotta you gotta do all your homework on your client. You gotta figure out everything. You have to make sure it is a bulletproof case or argument that you're presenting. Presenting, bro, like you don't want to go into a situation and be completely blindsided like this <laughs> when your client is <laughs> giving her testimony, bro. You've had one foot out the door since you got here. You're afraid you might have to admit that you're not as smart as you think you are. You got me. You, you got it all figured out. All right, uh, Harvey almost called you Trevor. Uh, you win, okay? Uh, so what I will do is I will declare you, Harvey, as him for now, okay? Mike, we're gonna dial that back just, just for the sake of the last 10 minutes, okay? Harvey, you get the title. Let's proceed. Promise me now, the only way you'll leave is if they rip you out. Please promise her, Mike. Don't quit, bro. It's episode one. Just just make this a, a hard time. You know, just keep wearing the suit so the show can continue to be called Suits. You know what I'm saying? Wait a second. I hit... Dude, stop acting confused. Just tell the girl what he, what you did. Don't. Now we're even. Ah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why he's mad at me. I don't I don't know. I, it could be anything. I, I don't know. I, my name is Trevor. Oh, oh. Listen, uh, I'm sorry. You you know somebody about to spit facts if they they walk over and on uh, and on. Uh, hold on. They walk over to their window. This is the window. This is actually a window. They walk over there like, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you you know somebody is. <laughs> you know somebody is actually gonna spit some hard truth if they turn towards the window and just start talking to you, bro. Like, oh man, that, that was a great little moment right there. I love that though. Maybe it's time I started trusting somebody else. First off, that was kind of hard. <laughs> that kind of hurt, okay? 
And Nancy gets reinstated with back pay. Kids should be able to grow up without the burden of tuition, which is why you're also- mm, That sounds beautiful. And $50,000. Charles. It's either that or jail time, buddy. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want? Hmm? <laughs> They're making this easy for you. They're on your side, okay? You had a little run-in with witness tampering, so you know what comes next. <laughs> Am I right here? <laughs> you know what comes next. You got to give them everything, right? It's take it or leave it. But that was beautiful. Oh, that was so good. We're gonna get into this next reaction though because I am gonna put two reactions in a single video and that's just how it's gonna be, man. I'd, I'm gonna give you guys a special treat on YouTube uh, for the people on Patreon. I, I might separate them, I'm not sure, but we're just gonna get into this next one. This one was extremely good. I really loved. I really love this show and I am the first bro this this actually might be my new favorite show I'm not even sure I'm not sure but it's starting to feel like it just might be my new favorite show and that's the crazy thing here that's the crazy thing because I never once thought to myself first off I never thought in the past oh yeah friends will be my favorite show someday you know I never thought that to myself I never thought to myself oh yeah I should totally check out the Sopranos because what a great show it is. You know, I never thought to myself all these thoughts, but this show is one episode and it's blowing me out of the water, right? We got Mike who starts off as like some, some drug dealer, you know, some, some scammer, some con artist, you know, he's basically, you know, Sawyer from, from Lost, right? But then he gets, he starts, his life is almost, it's flipped upside down you know, we're to Fresh Prince, but his life literally got flipped upside down in the heat of a moment and it could have gone sideways, but the only way he could go out of, like the only way he could escape out of the worst case scenario was going towards the best path in life for him at that, at that time. And that, it, it was just really fun to see that play out in the episode, you know, it was just, it was great. Cause you don't, you don't really see that in shows where the character's life is over. You usually, you see like, if something like that's gonna happen to a character, either they're gonna get saved by some sort of hero or they're gonna get, but for him, it was, you know, he's such a smart guy. You would hate to see something like that happen to such a brilliant mind, you know? So I'm glad he's got this job, hopefully, those skills that he uses, like that he's been using in life, can carry over on this job because I'm I'm rooting for him. He's got my full support. Him, you know, uh, was it was it Dana or, or Lana or something? What, whatever Meghan Markle's character is, or Rachel. It might have been Rachel. Oh, we got another Rachel. Oh man, but whatever her character name was, rooting for her too. Hopefully, she can become a lawyer someday because. Why not, you know? She said she's a bad test taker. I think we can figure that out, okay? So I just want Harvey and the whole rest of the gang to be cool. However, I just feel like bad things are gonna happen. And maybe I'm being a pessimist right now, but I, I don't know if I am. I don't know if I am or not. Maybe I'm thinking about it too deeply, or maybe I'm not thinking about it deeply enough. I, I just, some part of me feels like something, I don't know, but there, it's episode one and everyone seems cool with each other. So I'm just going to focus on the here and now. I'm loving this show and I'm rooting for all these characters right now. You know, everyone's my, every one of these characters is my favorite character. Even, even, uh, what's her name? Jessica. Yeah. The, the big boss, right? Even she is one of my favorite characters. You know, she's, she's cool. The rest of the cast is cool. Even Louis, right? I think that's his name or Louis or something. He's cool because at first, you know, I thought he was really fine on the guy. It never occurred to me at that time that, oh, there's a possibility that he's just messing around, you know? And it's like, okay, it was a slight thought, but I didn't think too deeply into it because what the characters had been saying about it before that you should actually fear him, right? Because he's truly a disciplinarian. And so I just assumed, okay, yeah, we're right. We're gonna fear him. He actually fired this guy. This guy is dead. He's dead, right? He's gone. 
after he got fired, he died. You know, that's what I assumed. However, he's still alive. He's working in the mailroom. <laughs> Shout, hats off to him, man. Hats off. And if you ever worked in a mailroom, let me know in the comments. How's that? You know, I've never known anybody like in my life that just actively works in the mailroom. It's like I've known people, but I've never been friends with people that have worked in the mailroom. So if you worked in the mailroom, drop a like on a video and we're gonna get into the next part of this video with episode two. The prototype, I can't find it. I don't know where I'm- You mean this? I don't know what I do without you. Bro, how does that, how does that, man, what's, what's going on there, man? This is one thing to be like a normal person and do that, right? But they're, they're claiming you're a genius and this is happening. How, brother? Explain. I love how they use like this music choice because it feels like adventurous and curious, but it also feels like he's trying, you know? It, it matches the mood. It, it matches the tone of the of the of this sequence of events right now. I am a sucker. I mean, he didn't know that though. I wouldn't say you're a sucker. I would just say you're inexperienced and. That's good. That's good. That's a good theme song. That's. I don't remember hearing that in the first episode, but we're here now in episode two and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. That's Gregory's responsibility. Why are you handling it? Hey, it's some extra time. Congratulations. You've shown loyalty to your fellow associates. Bro, why is everything with Lewis a test? <laughs> Bro, I can't with this guy, man. It, it's like, I'm not trying to be tested all the time. You know, this is episode two and we're, we're, we've are we experienced two tests from you each episode. Is this gonna be like a weekly thing? <laughs> like an epi episodically, canonically accurate thing? Like, I don't... <sighs> come on, Lewis. Will you tell him I put it there hours ago? What time you want me to say? Yo! I'm 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 loving Adana as an assistant. And then maybe I can use my access to his bank accounts to buy myself a house in the Hamptons. Okay. <laughs> my bad. I I I jumped the gun. <laughs> maybe we can uh, meet for lunch tomorrow at the club, say one PM. Uh you know tomorrow. I know I you just should... posed that as a question, but I really didn't mean it that way. Yeah, like, it, I feel like if one of your supervisors, right, well, like one of your bosses, someone that's a higher authority figure invites you to some place at your job, bro, it sucks because me personally, I wouldn't, if, if it was somebody like Lewis, I don't think I would want to go, but I would still be inclined to say yes because of who he is and taking this lunch on or whatever could mean a greater standing in the job, you know? Or he, it could be a test with this guy, you never know. Let the record show the council has fined $1,000 for failing to follow the posted rules of the court. Your Honor, I didn't mean off. Mouthing off? <laughs> Who does this dude think he is? Mouthing off, he didn't even say anything. Bro, he would be perfect to be like an NBA ref. Request denied. Court adjourned for the morning. Better luck next time, Harvey. Who are you? Why Why does he hate Harvey? What is this? This was personal, man. This was extremely personal. And why do you have it in for me? And I don't even know your first name. Really? My wife never mentioned it? Your wife? Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, please don't tell me, Harvey, you did some, you, oh, uh, is that where this is? Yeah, you gotta handle that situation. Are we getting like a Harvey scene right now? Because I need it. We need some, some, some evidence, some proof, some, something. I fall all over myself making a pass and you do the right thing and send me home. What do you want from me, Harvey? I need you to tell him the truth. Tell him the truth. I can't. Yes, you can. You can't? It's too embarrassing to tell your husband you lied about having an affair? Who does? That's backwards. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So you want him to be the fall guy for this? No, you tell him that it, okay. Even if you don't tell him that it never happened, just tell him it was somebody else. Like he, he has no, the, the, the judge, the husband has no proof of this, bro. And I guess Harvey isn't a sleazeball like we thought, right? 
So just just make another lie to cover the lie. I that's not good. I don't recommend doing that in in real life, guys. But in terms of this context, yeah. Thanks. Bro, this this guy's actually hilarious. <laughs> like he's so excited, like he's having the time of his life. You sign a document that says you slept with my wife. I'll give you your injunction. You'd like to blackmail me. You're the one who screwed me. I'd say you owe me one. Harvey, how are you gonna play this? Because I really don't want you to say to sign that paper, man. The uh, the drug test that you took, well, that I made you take, would indicate otherwise. That's actually super unfortunate because I thought enough time had passed from the last time he smoked to his drug test, but I guess not. How long does it take for like, what was he doing? Just weed? How long does it take for that to leave your body? You saying you want me to smoke pot with him? I'm saying you can help me land him as a client. Wow, this is, this guy is evil. He is blackmailing this, he's blackmailing the rookie. Bro, Mike didn't do a single thing to you, man. Why does everybody do this to people in this show, man? This is just so messed up. People don't do this. People, lawyers don't do this to each other in real life. Come on. Tom Keller. That's what happens when you get high before the draft, right? <laughs> you get high? Now you're talking my language. Now you're talking my language. Tom is like, hold on. You get high? <laughs> Bro made the ultimate smirk right there. Bro, it's the next scene, the very next scene, he's already high. Why, let me call you back. Why are you so flush? And Gregory me. He's gonna ask him, are you high? It's coming. You're high, get out. Harvey, you don't understand, Lewis. Out. Oh man, I'm I'm actually kind of hurt by that, man. Like, I'm, I'm, oh, man. I don't think that was even that sad, but I'm, I'm, I'm shedding a few tears, like it's, because this is something that he struggled with, man. And he, he was just, it's only episode two. He was starting to get clean, you know, and it sucks. It sucks. Seeing, I like, I, I saw and felt that disappointment from RV, you know? He just, you could see it all over his face. He was so disappointed in Mike. Because he, he cares, he cares for Mike. He really does. You know, he went to that woman's house last episode. Bro, he, come on. Somebody like Harvey, he's opening up for Mike. But when Mike is doing stuff like this, it just, it sets them back, you know? You gotta stay away from Lewis. He's bad for you, man. If he didn't listen to what happened, it's because he didn't want to. Mike, you need to tell him. I don't know how often you come across Harvey, but he's not exactly the listening type. Be the listening type, but bro, he has your best interest at heart. He's always gonna hear you out. Like you and whoever else he genuinely cares about, like Donna, I guess, and uh, you know, Jess, you know, those people, Harvey's gonna, he's, he's a ride or die for the people that matter the most to him, right? For the people that casually matter or don't matter at all, he's a nothing for them. That's what he is. But for, the, for you and Donna and Jess, he's there for you guys, man. He will always be. And when you screwed up that patent, I took it on myself because that's my job. So if you're talking about loyalty, you better goddamn burn it. You know, this is a side thing that I just have to point out. Apparently this actor who portrays uh, Harvey, he took a break from acting in 2019, right? Right as the show ended. And he hasn't acted in anything since to focus on uh, being present in his family's life, right? Being a husband, being a father, and I think uh, giving to charities more or something like that. So based off this one scene, even if he's just acting, I feel like he's doing very well as a father. If he's more in tune with his emotions than this character is, oh, then he's, he's definitely like a model father, bro. I just wanted to point that out because this is some good mentorship right here that we're witnessing, but I'm sure, you know, his kids and his wife see the real him, which is even more like powerful than hard. What you told Tom Keller, but bring a client in at your age. That reminds me of Harvey. He brought in Tom Keller. Oh my gosh. He doesn't even know it. 
this development is insane. And I never saw this coming, bro, because, <laughs> you know, I was under the assumption everything was out, out the door for, uh, for Mike. Tom wasn't gonna be their client. Lewis wins. He could potentially blackmail Mike. Lewis could betray Mike at any point and Mike wouldn't see it coming. He'd just be blindsided, right? Harvey was, you know, but everything is working out. I think you should tell them to shove it up their ass. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. And I was hoping I would hear nothing less because if he, if he agreed to their terms, bro, I would not have been okay with that. <laughs> if, if Harvey, cause you saw the look on his, y'all saw the look on his face. A few, a few minutes ago, it seemed like he was gonna cave a little bit, but it also seemed like he was gonna fight it. He's fighting. He continues to prove that he's him. What he will have is credit for the initial design, which after he incorporates under a different name, will be worth a hell of a lot more money than the $20 million that you're offering. Mm. You should incorporate under Apple. No, just kidding. He shouldn't do that. And Harvey wins again. What a beautiful ending. What? Yeah, buddy. You're an idiot. And of course, she's free to date whoever she pleases. Enjoy your evening, Donald. Ah, ended the scene calling you by your first name. Honestly, this is what you get, bro. This is the circle of life. And bad karma? What goes around, right? It will always come back around. Go easy on him. Nope. Nah, don't, yep. Nah, don't do that. He said good boy. <laughs> Turns out that you have to wait three months before you can request another drug test. It's a little detail you might have missed. So, drink up. W guitar riff. Okay. Wait, is there, is there anything else? Okay. Amazing, right? Because we got to see everything pan out for the positive, right? For the better. You know, we got to see Mike go from having to do Lewis's dirty work and potentially getting blackmailed to him getting the upper hand on Lewis. And now at any moment, he could be the one to blow the whistle on Lewis. And boom, it's just over. Jessica would probably at that point would she fire him? She would either fire him or imagine if she demotes him to the mail room. Now <laughs> that would be that would be that would be beautiful. You know, it's not like I hate Lewis though, you know, because I do by the time you guys see this, you probably see that he is in the intro. <laughs> you know, just because that little clip worked for the intro. However, you know, he's just one of those characters where he's just like you can never quite figure him out. And maybe that's just the premise of all the characters in the show so far. It's like, once you got them figured out, there's just more to unravel there, you know? And, but it is really fun to see, to watch on each episode, to see how things play out because sometimes things go the way I expect them to go. And sometimes things don't, but when things go the way I don't expect them to go and then still work out for the better. It just makes me feel like I'm watching one of those shows that's going to be a staple in my life, you know, and this suits, it feels like one of those shows to me. So, you know, shout out Harvey, Tom Keller, uh, Mike Ross, you know, Jessica Pearson, you know, shout out everybody who is a good character in the show. You notice how I didn't shout out Lewis, right? Uh, and, and also Trevor, you know, but I guess in the end, those guys will we'll probably, see, we'll, we'll definitely probably see them again. We're, we're gonna see Lewis again. I don't know about Trevor. We might, we don't really need him, but we might. Uh, but yeah, man, this is, this is such a great show and nobody recommended I watch this, I don't think, but I'm loving the show so far. And I will see you guys in the next couple reactions that will be on the channel next week. See you guys for more suits. Peace. Oh, wait. Have you dropped a like on the video, though? Hmm. I don't know if you did. Nah, nah. You don't, you don't have to. But if you did like the video, drop a like on the video to support the channel. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. 
See you guys in the next.